Do 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 do. I eat game. Yeah. Hey, Snoopy's Mark here, and we are working on the demon of hatred. And actually, this fight is not too bad. Um, let me show you what I mean by that. Um, so let's get started with some tips. Uh, if you are having a really tough time with this guy and you're looking for something, a little bit of help, the uh, Withered Red Gourd can help. So if you head over to the Harada States and talk to the guy in the pot or the fish, and you have two fish scales, you can pick this up. And this will help reduce like the burn and increase resistance. So if you're looking for a little bit of help, um, that's something you can get. Um, I kind of found it not to be too useful, but it might help you. Also, I'm trying to create a guide here that has no, using no prosthetics. It's just, I want this guide to be really accessible for just about everybody, because somebody could have, if I make a guide about the final whistle or the umbrella, that means other people are gonna be left out. So I'm trying to make something that basically everybody can use with basic attacks. Um, you're gonna see me make mistakes in this and that's just because I was ex experimenting along the way and I happened to beat him while I was trying stuff. So you will see me fail and I will point that stuff out. But the basic strategy is we're gonna be cl in close with this guy and we're gonna be moving to the right and we're gonna be trying to whack him from behind. You should have about eight to 10 gourd seeds. Divine. Uh, Divine Confetti does help if you have some. Um, don't forget to max out your spirit emblems, and um, those sugars do help. Now, right out, of, right out of the gate, we are going to sprint towards the demon. We're going to run and get to him as quickly as possible. Um, now, when you get about right here, we're going to target him as soon as we can. Click in that right stick, and we're only really going to get like one to two hits, two max, because want you to scoot around behind him and move to the right like we're always going to do. Very rarely we're going to move to the left. And we are going to step out of the way of that foot. And we're going to get behind him. Now, sometimes he will smash both feet. So you have to be really aware and pull yourself back or block it. So look at the distance we have here. We can still get in his face. So if you are at about that medium distance, just keep running into him so we can swoop in right behind on going right around and hitting him. And that is our rhythm is trying to keep up on him. Now when we get uh, when we get the perilous attack, when you see that symbol jump, even if you feel like you can dodge out of the way, jump. Now when he is that when he's that far away, we're gonna try and pull him towards us. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run away and then when he starts running, you're going to run towards him, and we will duck under those fireballs. Um, it, it's a lot easier than it, uh, than it looks. Now, again, we are moving around to the right. Oh, okay, so when he kneels down and he does this big flame and his back bursts into flames, I don't care what direction you're facing, run. Run as far as you can, and then we're going to mash that left trigger because we're going to use that grapple point that appears right there. Look, I'm not even that far from him, really. Um, but this is like a freebie. This is something that after you do it a couple times, you will definitely be able to get it. And we can get a couple hits in here sometimes. Sometimes two, sometimes three. Now... I am stuck way too close in here. I should have moved and I didn't. So be prepared to block. I blocked it, I didn't take any damage, but you can see I took a little bit of posture damage, which is totally fine. Now, you can see what I did there. As I was far away from him, I ran the opposite direction, he started running towards me, and then I immediately switched and started running towards him, and I was able to run under the fireballs. It's a really good tactic. It works like 95% of the time. Now, when we're in close, you can see that I did not block that. I should have I should have blocked that, but I didn't. Um, it's pretty hard to detect when he's going to do that second stomp. But we want to try to stay right here, right behind him. And just keep going in there. Keep up close. Get in his grill. Now, if you need to, if you need to heal, a really good way, if you're up close, is to loop right behind him and, and heal um, instead of hit. You can get a couple seconds there where you can heal. Now, once again, running up into his face, looping around and then we're taking a couple hits. Now, every one third of his health, when it gets taken down, he will get stunned like this, and you can, you can just wail on him and attack. All right, here comes our freebie. We're gonna grapple in, we're gonna try and get one or two hits in, and then we're gonna try and loop around. When he jumps away, start running away from him. See how he starts running towards us? We're gonna run back, and we're gonna just keep heading, we're gonna beeline straight forward, slightly to the right, so we can loop around and smack him like we keep, like we're doing right here. So don't, don't let up. Keep doing this. There's our freebie. 
zip back in, and look how much health he has left. Good. Phase three done. All right, so phase two, things get changed a little bit. So when he does this little freak out animation, I want you to untarget him, and I want you to survey the surroundings because we need an open area. And you have a couple seconds to do this. This is a really good space right here because what he's going to do, he always starts with this, this flame streak attack. And so when he does that, when he raises his hand up like that, we're going to jump and we're going to grapple. And you can be too far away from him. You can absolutely be too far back and you won't be able to grapple in. So keep that in mind. So here comes the perilous attack. Remember, we jump. Whenever you get that perilous, when you can hear the audio cue or you get the video or the video, when you get the, <laughs> the visual aid, jump. Um, and it's a really wide attack too. <clears throat> so what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm back and I'm trying to pull him towards me because I want to get away from that wall. You want to keep the attack kind of in the middle. Now, when he whips his hair around like that, that means the fireballs are coming and we're going to spiral in towards the demon. So that means we're going at a slight angle and we're slowly working our way in. If you cut it too tight, you're going to hit in the face. Now, when he does that pose, that means the fireballs are done. So we're going to go in, get a couple hits. We're going to jump because we got the perilous attack sign. And there he goes, we're gonna jump, and then we're gonna grab, oh, he got me. Okay, that's all right. That's okay, so I'm gonna run away, try and pull him in. There he goes. Oh, I should have run towards him. So, when you die from the fireballs, be sure you don't resurrect right away, because the, the, the fireballs will actually ignite the ground, and if you resurrect too quickly, then you could actually start burning, so you want to wait. Now again, remember we're spiraling in slowly. You don't want to cut it too tight, you're going to get hit right in the face. And we get like maybe one or two hits from there, but we're this is a war of attrition. We are slowly taking his health down. We're always moving to the right. We're keeping up in his face. And we're just getting in one, two, sometimes three, sometimes even four, especially if we stun him, we'll get a lot more in. But see how I'm just moving around to the right, get a couple hits in, he rears up, we move to the right, we move back, we go in, we get a couple hits. And he kind of doesn't know what to do with us, so we just keep moving. And so if he actually hits us like that, that is a, that means that I could have blocked there. So there we go, we jump out of the way, grapple in, and we get a rhythm going here. Now, I'm st I, I know that in some cases I'm making this look easy, but I probably, this is probably my 50th or 60th time trying to kill him with basic attacks. Again, I'm trying to make a guide where anybody, it's accessible to anybody um, and not just a specific prosthetic. So again, I'm running in, I'm scooting to the right, I'm jumping when we get that perilous attack danger symbol. Here he comes, he's leaning over, we jump over the flame trail, we grapple in and we get in his face. I made a mistake there. I should have circled around and I, I should have attacked from the back. Now you saw me heal in the middle of, sometimes you can get right in the middle of him where you're basically standing in between his legs and I had a brief second there and I healed. I don't recommend doing that, but I was so low on health, I decided to risk it. And I screwed that up because I was so close to a wall. So that's why I try to t keep the battle kind of in the middle of the arena. I have to go to the fireball. So let's go ahead and run in, get in his face when you get the opportunity, take a couple hits, keep running in, scoot to the right, hit the back. And so like with other fights in this game, we are learning the rhythm, we are learning his speed, his beats, and we are moving out of the way. So he hit me with that perilous attack, and when I first started fighting him, um, I almost always got hit by that. Um, and that was actually the first time I got hit by this perilous attack. And that too, that attack used to always get me. But you know, when you, I mean, when you've, <laughs> I've fought him so many times, um, you know, you really just begin to pick up on it. So hopefully, this guide helps you too with that rhythm. Now again, the slow spiral in. If you get hit in the face by one of these fireballs, that means you're probably cutting that that spiral a little too tight. So here we go, back behind, and phase two done. Now we're on the final phase. Okay, phase three, phase three is interesting because we get 
he introduces one new perilous attack. So when you see his arm flame up like this, what we're going to do, you can actually be in there. If you are caught that close, you can jump over the first whip, and then you can roll and dodge under the next one or two. But what happens after this is there this huge, he, he, this flaming wall appears, and you're stuck in this little arena with him, and, and um, you have to fight him. And that's fine, because this strategy here is an up-close strategy, so it actually, it actually works. And I'll show you that. It's dangerous, but it works. So again, s scooting around, jumping over that perilous attack, trying to close the distance. So I'm trying to pull him here, and it doesn't work as well as it did in like the first two because of all these various attacks. But you can you can work your way in slowly and then chip away at that health. And so trying to pull him, and he's not really cooperating, is he? But that's okay. Here he comes, that's what we want. So we're gonna grapple in, we're gonna get in close. We'll take one or two hits there. And he backs away and that's okay. We're gonna run away and now he's running towards me so we can run in and get behind him, take a couple of hits. And part of this is when you get to phase three, stay calm. You know you got this, you know you're eventually going to get him, but part of the strategy is staying calm and relaxed. Um, this fight isn't nearly as difficult for me at least with like Jinishiro, but um, it is it is definitely a challenge. Now we're stuck in this arena with him, and we're just working away at it. And these this these flaming walls don't stay up for too long, so we only have maybe ten seconds of fighting up close. But we've been doing this up close fight for the first two phases, so it's it's um, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Now here he goes. He's leaning over, so you know that means the fire streak is coming. We're gonna jump, grapple work our way around behind him oh now we run away no matter what direction you're facing just hold the B button down and run in any direction and mash that left trigger so you can get pulled in more fireballs no problem so we're gonna run spiral in slowly and don't get greedy like I did just get try to get one or two hits in maybe three. Oh, he's stunned that's good so we got a couple more hits in and here comes this perilous attack and I totally failed and didn't take my own advice and jump and dodge underneath them, but that's okay. Drink a health potion. I have one guard seed left. Oh no! Okay, so heal up. This is it. This is pretty epic, actually. My heart was pounding so hard. But remember, we gotta stay calm, choose our hits, don't get greedy at the end. Don't get greedy like I did. I should have there, I should have scooted scooted around behind him and taking those hits and here we go loop around and we got him yeah don't forget to like and subscribe folks i hope this guide helps you out thanks for checking out my video